morning, good morning. Another wonderful day here. So today what we got going on, pretty simple, same old, same old. Got two runs, still in Virginia. We will head right down the street. We got one local, which is always a blessing. Pick it up, heading down the Ridgeway, dropping the Ridgeway, shooting up to Chatham, picking up number two, We're going to Virginia Beach. And then we will hope, keep our fingers crossed, the number three pans out. So, I'm gonna slide you right under the car here. And right back there. Right in here. That's your front one. It's gonna be right in front of the uh, front wheel, right behind the front wheel. And I'll show you the back one here. Kind of tight quarters. But, there's the back one right in front of the rear wheel and you always want to make sure you get the right slot the DOT side will always have that kind of ribbed oval look it'll kind of have like a, a reinforced look that's what you always want to shoot for all right so we just dropped at one in Martinsville got a chance to catch up and talk to some people about the old town now we're heading to Chatham now it's kind of funny how in the last video I was talking about Copart because that's what we're going to pick up is from Copart. So, leave it to Copar here in Chatham to make a lie out of me. Uh, now, if you saw some of the comments on my last video, there was a fellow talking about how Fredericksburg and Hampton were the worst Copars to deal with. And you'll probably see my comment where I say nothing makes my blood boil more than dealing with Hampton. Copar is difficult to work with until I came here. So I'm here in, in Chatham picking up one and I can tell you that my pickup here at the Copar in Chatham or Danville, however the address works, went easier than it has with pretty much any IAA that I've ever dealt with and I prefer to deal with IAA. I had the first hand opportunity this time as you guys just saw in the, the little screenshot I took. I had to use the app. They required that I use the app at this location. So I used the app, which you have to go into your, your app store and it's Copart Transportation. You download it, you have to put in 
your name, an email address, your driver's license number, uh, make, model, and year of the vehicle that you're using to transport with. And I believe your, yes, your tags, your, your tag, your plate number. So once you plug all that in, you uh, go into the app and you upload the buyer number or the lot number. And it actually, surprisingly enough, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy with it. It pulls up a picture so you can see the car and pretty much get an idea of what you're working with. Now, the one that I picked up today only had damage on one side, so I'm pretty sure it did start up, so I'm pretty sure I've got a drivable. However, I've already confirmed with my drop location, they do have a forklift on hand to offload. Apparently, it's going to a warehouse that specializes in this type of thing. So they're already aware of the situation, they deal with it every day. This is one of those best case scenarios. Back to the app. Once you plug in all your information, you plug in the lot number, it actually will take you to the lot that that vehicle is at. So you don't even have to plug in an address. So you get all that set up, then you go over to the appointment side. You click on the appointment side, make an appointment to pick up that vehicle unfortunately the only thing that i did not like about this app is it doesn't give you hour increments it gives you four different times it gives you two slots in the morning two slots in the afternoon the latest you can pick up with this app at least at this location here in in danville or chatham whichever one we're in is 2 30. so i made i did all this yesterday so I did this the day before. Now I did get here today. I got here 20 minutes early. I was prepared for worst case scenario. Fortunately at this location, I pulled in, I clicked arrive, which is one of the buttons you have to click on this app. You have to click arrive and it automatically takes you from that screen into the queue. Now, all of the co-parts use this kiosk. So you have to go to this kiosk to set up and put in your lot number, your load number, like I talked in the last video. Well, if you go through this app, it automatically flips everything over in the kiosk and it asks, would you like to be placed in the kiosk? And you say, yes. So you click yes, put you in the queue. Then just like I said in the last video, it'll send you a text message to say, hey, there's a representative inside ready to assist you. Okay. All of this today happened within 10 minutes at the max. And I will be honest with you, I've never been to a co-part that has moved that fast. So I thoroughly, two thumbs up to y'all because co-part down here, down south, y'all doing something big. I walked in there, young lady already had my paperwork ready, which is something that I also have never experienced. So she hands me my paperwork, come outside, Loader operator comes up, wants to know what car I'm getting. I tell him what car I'm getting, brings it out as y'all saw, loads it up, rock and roll. Moral of my story, I guess all co-parts aren't bad. Cause this one down here, thoroughly impressed. So now that we're loaded ahead of schedule, we are going to get on the highway and head down to Virginia Beach Ironically, I've already reserved a spot at the same <laughs> pilot that I was at like two weeks ago on a similar run out to the beach. So, let's put some miles behind us. All right, well, we made it. This time is pretty cut and dry. <laughs> no hiccups, no issues, things went smooth. Backed up in our spot. I'm gonna put the curtains up, get some sleep. Get up in the morning, we'll deliver. Uh, Maryland run didn't pan out. So I'm, I'm gonna actively look to see if I can find something heading back to our neck of the woods. Uh, if not, we'll head home. I mean, it, it, it's gonna suck that we're gonna have to deadhead a little further than usual to get home. But I mean, we made pretty good coin on this run. And it was only two cars. Uh, you know, sometimes that's the 
kind of how it works sometimes you can try and try and try they just don't pan out now if you full-time guys it actually you know you might sit at the truck stop for a day or two till you find a load that works but then you roll whereas for me it's a little different i'm, I'm doing this part-time so it's kind of time sensitive for me so if i don't find something you know i i get as close to home as i can and i may end up deadheading a little further than i want to but that's just kind of my situation so i'm gonna turn in for the night see y'all in the morning yeah got a train so it'll be a little bit of that tonight but i sleep pretty hard i'll probably sleep through it see y'all in the morning Before I go, though, it dawned on me this morning today's run wouldn't have been possible without the help of a couple people first big shout out to my wife because this was a time since the day with me having to make an appointment with Copart. So, God bless my wife, I love her to death. She pretty much got everything set up so that when I got home from my full-time career, just grab my bags, throw it in the truck, do my check, and hit the road and make my time stamp. So, big shout out to her. She was a great help this time. Another big shout out gotta give it to my co-worker Gino I appreciate it bro you, you helped me out my boy came in early so I could get early relief so that I could get to my rig and get on the road and make my time stamps so big shout out to you two bro I appreciate everything man big shout out to my wife thank you couldn't have done it without you so I had to plug that in before I turn in because it's been on my mind all day like I, I couldn't have got the day done without them two man big big help Big shout out to both of them. Now I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, so we dropped, unloaded. We're fixing to uh, roll up into this warehouse. Right there behind me. And uh, deliver our rectal launcher. Let's see how this goes. So, side note real quick. I uh, remember I was talking about how to make sure your vehicle runs, make sure you got a solid plan. Uh, I got lucky. This Elantra runs and drives, so we got super lucky, and we can just unload in the street and drive this bad boy right on up in there. Yeah, just just rows and rows of wrecked cars, and uh, we're gonna drive around in a circle here. They said drive around. Should be a guy around the corner to process you. So let's see what we got. Yep, yep. There's homie in the forklift. And so we dropped the car. We're gonna walk back up here to the front office, drop off our paperwork, get them to sign our BOL. We've already been paid. We can get up out of here. All right. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. As always, appreciate y'all watching. Take care and God bless.